Dear Mrs. Uh, Beth Berdol, uh, dear Mrs. Marcela Villarreal, dear uh, Mr. Zituni Uldada, dear fellow colleagues, uh, dear WFO members, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I am totally agree with uh, what you declare uh, and uh, I'm very glad to be here today to sign this uh, renewed partnership with FAO, which we uh, rely very much to, on to join efforts and contribute to create a supportive policy environment for all farmers and family farmers across the world. Being a family farmer myself, I have the pleasure to work with my wife and uh, all my children uh, engaged on the farm as partner, as employee, or as part-time helper during their holiday. But uh, it's also a good way to be connected to the real life uh, on the farm. I know very well that, fam that family uh, uh, farming is the foundation of our food system. I understand very well what it means to invest on land sustainability, to work with hand in the soil and to commit to hand over the land onto the next generation in a better condition than the one in which we found it. We, family farmers, are the backbone of our society, acting as agents of change and playing a key role in complying with increasing challenges every day. We are aware that food insecurity is on the rise again and that we are far from achieving sustainable development goal number two by 2030. Also, progresses have been made as per the, the state of food security and nutrition in the world, uh, SOFI 2022. There is a strong nexus between uh, food security and climate change which was also recognized and formalized in the outcome decision document of COP27 with the establishment of the establishment of the four years Tamil Sheikh joint work on implementation of climate condition, agriculture and food security. Also, we, we know very well those drivers of the food insecurity and malnutrition data that we read in the report, including extreme weather condition, conflict, rising prices of inputs and food as a consequence. Because we experience them in our daily job, finding solutions to adapt and to mitigate climate change effects, adapting our pollution methods to the lack of inputs such as fertilizer. Finally, we recognize and promote the crucial role of women and young farmers whose inclusion uh, and empowerment is a critical step if we want to achieve sustainable development and build more resilient and equitable food system. Especially in this historical moment character, characterized by a multiple uh, crisis, it's urgent that all factors in the value chain join hands. We need solidarity between all stakeholders to enable the next generation of farmers to take responsibilities and a leadership role in family farms and organization towards a more sustainable and resilient agricultural sectors. We need organizations like FAO with your experience and advice and how to transition on how to transition towards more sustainable and regenerative food system. Thank you very much.